I'm going to walk you through investigation two, mathematical modeling, Hardy Weinberg, using an Excel spreadsheet. And at home, you can just follow along and type as I do, either on Excel or any uh, spreadsheet software that's online. I'm using Excel. So let's start by inputting generation one under uh, cell A1 and A2. We're going to type P, which represents the frequency of the dominant allele, equals. And the next cell, we're going to type Q, which equals the frequency of the other allele. We're just going to say B instead of little a. So we have two alleles in the population. And then um, I'm going to skip a couple of cells and under D2, I'm going to um, just write any decimal. So let's start with 0.4. And for D3, the <clears throat> frequency of the other allele is uh, 1 minus whatever the frequency of P is. So we're going to input a function equals. 1 minus whatever is in cell D2. So D2, enter, and it should automatically calculate that difference. Okay, now let's practice using the function RAND. So in any cell, um, copy this formula, equals RAND, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then hit enter. You're basically telling Excel to choose any number between 0 and 1 at random. So it chose this number for me. Um, your computer may have chosen a different decimal. And if you hit the F9 function, the computer will change that input. At it works for hit F9. Several times you should see a different random number. Okay, let's delete that cell and continue with the lab. Um, choose E4 as your next cell and type gametes. And then under E5, we're going to input the function that can be found on page 32 in your lab manual. And you need to type it in exactly. So if open parentheses rand, open parentheses, close parentheses, less than or equal to D um, dollar sign 2, no space, then A in quotations, otherwise B in quotations. Oops, I didn't type that correctly. Okay. So it corrected it for me. All right, so that is the, the function. And essentially, you're telling Excel to pick a random number from 0 to 1. If that random number happens to be less than or equal to the value that's in D2, then it's telling it to place an A in that cell. Otherwise, place a B. And we're going to do the same for the next cell equals... If, open parentheses, rand, open close, less than or equal to D dollar sign 2, place an A, otherwise B. Okay. Oh, another typo. Okay, so it corrected it for me. All right, so there you have it. Um, so now we have uh, two gametes. Um, in my case, one gamete's an A, big A, and the other one's also an A. So I'm going to copy these two cells, and I'm going to paste them. So Control C is the quickest way to copy the cells that you've selected. I'm going to paste them to several rows below. I'll go up to how about 25. Okay, and then control V will paste the formulas into all the remaining rows that I selected. And now the computer just randomly, based on your P and your Q value, 
um, has placed, selected these alleles for, uh, for the gametes. Okay, so moving on, let's say we want the resulting zygote and in order for the computer to add on, every time I hit a new cell, it just uh, randomly selects new numbers. So that's why it's changing. Okay, so for the next equation, equals concatenate. And we're telling it con to concatenate E4, E5 cell and F5 cell. Basically, it's telling it to sum up or add the two and place them in this cell. Hit enter. Okay, so there's your fertilization uh, resulting in the zygote that we see here. And I'm going to control copy that cell and paste it. So I have zygotes for all these fertilization events. Control V. There we go. Okay, looks good. All right, next we're going to go to H3, cell H3, and type in number, oops, some caps, number of each genotype. And since there's three genotypes right below, I'm going to place AA, AB, and BB. All right, so now I want to program Excel to count up um, the different genotypes that I have in each row. And for that, we need another formula. So under H5, I'm going to input the formula equals if, open parentheses, G5 equals AA, then I'm telling it to place a 1, otherwise a 0. Okay, so in my case, since it's not an AA, it's placing a zero in there. For the next cell, I'm going to input the formula if G5, oops, G5 equals AB, then place a one. If, open parentheses, G5 is BA, which is the same thing, sorry, VA, also place a 1, otherwise a 0, and then I need three closed parentheses. Okay, so that's the equation you can see up there in the functions box. Okay, so you're basically telling Excel if it's an AB or ABA, place a one, otherwise a zero. And then the BB is easy because there's only one way to get BB. So it's very similar to our H5 function. So it's equal to if, open parentheses, G5 is equal to BB and place a 1, otherwise a 0. Okay, so now you've programmed it to place a 1 for the zygote, and I'm going to copy that row, control C, and then drag it down. Control V. Okay, very good. So each row is counting up all the zygotes with a zero or a one. All right, so let's go to the bottom of this table. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can take a look at the spreadsheet as a whole. All right, looks good. I'm going to go to the bottom of that spreadsheet uh, of that table. For me, it's uh, A26 and input the sum for each genotype. And then I'm going to program H26 to count up all the ones. So the way you want to do that is the function uh, sum 
a formula sum and you're then defining which cells to sum up. In my case, it spans from H5, and then you wanna use a colon all the way to H25, okay? So that's where it ends, close parentheses. All right, so it's adding up all the ones in that column from H5 to H25. Okay, so I only have two um, that are ho uh, homozygous for A. Okay, let's do the same for this. Um, you can actually copy, control C, that equation and Excel kind of figures out to convert it to the other columns, control V, there we go. So that's an easy way of copying and pasting the formula. All right, so now we have all the sums for each genotype in this row. Okay, and now let's skip a couple of rows. I'm going to A29. Now I want to count up all the alleles, number of each allele. And we have two alleles, so let's go to H41. I'm sorry, no, H28. And I'm counting all the A's here, and I'm going to skip one column and all the B's here. Okay, here's the formula you want to use to tell Excel to count all the A alleles equals count if, open parentheses, and now we got to look at which ones we want to count. So I want to count from E5 all the way to F25, E5 to F25. Those are all the alleles that I want Excel to count. Count if there is an A, close parentheses. Okay, so I have a total of 16 A's. And we do the same here, but this time we want to count the B's. Count if, open parentheses, what was it, E5 to F25. Comma, count the B's, close parentheses. All right, cool.